Did our ladies from Amarillo make it through that last comedy sketch? Oh, they did. Good. All right. They're fine. There they are. I want to check on them. They're like, this is not Regis. All right. My first guest tonight's the Golden Globe award-winning star of the ABC series Spin City. Please welcome Charlie Sheen. <laughs> Very nice to have you on the show. Thank you. It's nice to be back You've here. You've got men whistling for you. I don't know how you... <laughs> the no, ladies I... are happy and the men are happy. Yes. That's a... Uh... Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Let's face it, some of those were for me. Now, uh... All of them. All of them. <laughs> all of them. Yes. Thanks. Yes. Thanks for helping with my delusion. Uh, sure. Sure. First of all, congratulations. You're, you're engaged. This oh, yes, nice. I am. Yes. This is good for yes. you. Denise Richards and myself. Denise Richards. This is great. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I like at first the crowd's sad, and then they hear it's another celebrity, and they're like, well, then good. Ah, right, right, right. Now, she's as sweet as she is beautiful. Yeah. yeah we yeah. had her on the show in, in Los Angeles, and she was terrific. Very nice. Yeah, she just... Very she genuine person. Stole my heart. Um, you know, and... and oh. 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 When are you When are you getting married? Uh, this summer. Very cool. I can't give you the date, because, you know... Right. Everybody well, here would show up. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll just get my invite, and I'll find out then. Now, okay. uh... <laughs> Why does that elicit laughter? Um, this brings up some questions. Uh, first of all, you built the ultimate bachelor pad. You spent 10 years uh, working on, on this place, modifying it, making it perfect. Right. And I've read about, I've read it in magazines. They, they, it's a legendary uh, house that you've got. Is it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've just, I'm afraid so. Well, yeah. tell us what it's like in there. Well, I, um, I wanted to build a place that uh, had all the um, amenities, you know, that I would need. <clears throat> Right. As a bachelor. Right, you know, no, right. It's got, it's got fun Public stuff. Public television. It's, uh, um, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> refrigerator. Um, yeah. No, it's got, it's got good stuff. It's got like a batting cage, because I'm a baseball player, you know? Yeah, is um, it, it, where's the, is the batting, the batting cage isn't indoors, or, right? It's no, not, it's outdoors. Okay, good, outdoors. that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, it's got a great pool. Um, it's got a fire pole, actually. Now, let's talk about the fire pole. <laughs> Fire pole isn't something most people have in their house. Is the fire pole, was it uh, back in the day, was it for kind of kinky stuff? No. You know? no, no. No. Not for entertainment purposes at all. Strictly for emergencies. You know? <laughs> yeah. But no, it is a... Uh, <laughs> you said is... that with the... <laughs> uh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> no, for uh, fire emergencies. Yeah, fire yeah. emergencies, yeah. yeah. No, well, I'd never lived in a two-story place, and I thought if the place is on fire... I'd better have a I better fire have a pole, pole handy. <laughs> Makes really? sense, yeah. Now, those yeah. things are dangerous, aren't they? Mm, not really. It's a, it's a regulation issue that I bought from the fire department, so it's, it's pretty sturdy, you know? Well... <laughs> Um, well, like, don't uh, when you slide down a fire pole. I mean, it, it, it. When I see Batman do it, I'm like, oh, that looks easy. But, but you can like burn your hands and stuff, can't yeah, you? Yeah, I would wear socks. <laughs> <laughs> I would wear uh, tube socks. That makes it much less cool. Oh yeah. Yeah. Because then you hear the fire alarm goes off. And right. You're like, I gotta get to the fire pole, but first, uh, socks, socks, socks. <laughs> socks. There we go. I'm all ready. Right. You know. Just like. Yeah. Yeah. But you've got, I mean, you've got, like, black carpeting. I mean, stuff that, that, that a guy, when he's living alone, can have, you know, I want all black. I want sure. black Hides light posters and, right. you know, all kinds of cool stuff like that. Right. If Denise and I decide to stay there, we've got to make some changes. Well, she's probably going to, she's going to let you stay there? You guys are going to stay there together, you think? She's actually the one pushing for it. Very cool. She loves it. She loves right. the place, loves the location. Um, I can't give that away. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I'll um, find out when you call me tomorrow and invite me over. Right. right, right, right. Uh, no, she's been very, very sweet about it. But, like, the bubble machines and all the cool stuff that I would have, all the fantasy cool stuff, that's probably something that's going to have to go. It has to go. Yeah. 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 All right, well, you can send it my way. If you okay. Want. <laughs> um, now, you were on the show once, and we started talking about how much you love 
McDonald's dessert, the McFlurry. The McFlurry, yes. And uh, we talked about it for a good 40 minutes. We did. We're, we're, we're in the Guinness <laughs> Book of World Records right. for the longest discussion about the most trivial thing. Right, and we're still talking about it. Yeah, yeah and we're still talking we about are. it. And you were talking about how you just got obsessed with the McFlurry. Um, are you, have you moved on to another vice since then, um, since the McFlurry? Yeah, I still dabble in McFlurry. <laughs> um, <laughs> Every now and then, you, you, yeah, you feel the urge to go back to McFlurry, right? Absolutely, because it's a, it's a comfortable, safe place to go. Yeah. You know? um, <laughs> but I, I, uh, I've moved not away from McFlurry, right. but just back to an old vice that, that I'm revisiting. Which is that? It's, um, it's the cereal ice cream combination. Ice cream combined with, combined with cereal. breakfast cereal. Yeah. But yeah. Well, give me an example. What are we talking about here? What We're talking about, like, uh, uh, Life, Life and cereal. Uh, haagen -Dazs chocolate. Boom. How does that work? I mean, do you, do you, so it's like the, 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 the life cereal is like a topping on the, explain the engineering behind this. Well, the, uh, the, the, the cereal is the foundation. Right. That's your base. Right. And, um, <laughs> and, uh, the ice cream is more of an additive. It's, right. Uh, it's, you know. Right. Secondary, uh, and you yeah, and, and, piece and, of the puzzle, you know. Right. So you put the two together and then you just start eating right away? No, you got to milk it down. Milk is added. Oh, yeah. You add milk. Absolutely, yeah. Then what happens? Then you walk away. <laughs> you walk away. And then you walk away for how long? Uh, 12, 14 minutes. <laughs> couple of phone calls, a couple of cigarettes, and you revisit this dish. And then by then it's melted some and it's created kind of a gooey mess. Well, I like to think of it as sogified. <laughs> it's, not, it's not gooey. It's not gooey, but if you really want to white trash it up, you take, uh, <laughs> you take, uh, <laughs> you take Hershey's uh, chocolate syrup. And add that. And add that. But I... don't let that steep. Don't let that steep too long. No. no. You know what? I just had an idea, and I want to make this happen somehow. You have to have your own cooking show. You think so? <laughs> it's shot from the bachelor pad. Okay. I would watch that show. We Thank can you. sell that to MTV VH1. <laughs> it's, just like, it's just you talking about these great concoctions. Yeah, well, thank you. Thank you. What do you guys think? Yeah. Thank you. They love this. Thank you. Hey, the, uh, the Aussie thing you just ran, there yeah. was a lot of swearing. <laughs> I didn't hear any. Nothing? No. Okay. Okay. No, it's all been beeped. It'll all be taken care okay, of. It'll good. be cleaned up for America. Good. Don't you worry about a thing. And good. that's just Ozzy. I can't stop him. I know. You know? I know. Ozzy comes by. You met the man? I have, yeah. We met in treatment, actually. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's the place to... Um, He's a good guy. You know, I will say this. He's terrific, yeah. We were working with him a couple of years ago. We, we shot a bunch of remotes with him before this whole MTV thing uh, blew up. And mm -hmm. one of the sweetest people you'll ever work with, yeah, and a pro, is. and a really nice guy. He is. Um, I was actually um, on my way out of treatment as he was sort of arriving. Um, not that day, but I'd been there a while, and right, he was right. checking in. Right, um, He probably knew the whole place, Cole, you know what I mean? He was pretty comfortable. Um, <laughs> But I, I thought his, his style of movement was, you know, he was uh, coming off of a junk hangover. Right, right. Or like, you know, really hammered. Um, and then I saw this show that we've all been watching. Right. It's him all the time. That's just how he moves. Yeah. That's it. One of our writers on the show who worked with me on one of these bits, Tommy Blotcha, pointed out once that he walks like Mr. Burns on The Simpsons. Yeah. And it's a G he really does walk around like this. He does, you're right. And, you're right, yeah. Um, well, you know what? We, uh, we love uh, having you on the show. You're a fantastic guest, and congratulations to you, oh, and, thank you. and Denise. And come on thank back. Thank you. Thanks, John. All right, Charlie Sheen, he's a good man. Sarah Silverman, coming up. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. Free trial. Experience Clarinex. We're moving in over here. We made a battle to protect the neighborhood. They'll fight for honor. Bricks don't fall out of the sky in this neighborhood unless I'm thrown. For love. I don't want to wake up tomorrow morning and find out that you're dead. If you love me, then you'll understand. But most of all, they'll fight for each other. I run the deuces. I don't back down from nothing. You're waiting for junk, little junk. I need all the guys. It's going down tonight. I want you to make peace. I can't do that. Juice is Wild, rated R, starts Friday.
romance, the beauty, the world of Ralph Lauren. Polo.com. This is a public notice. Due to the national economic slowdown, four Metroplex dealers have been chosen to dispose of excess inventory from distressed dealerships across the nation. Reliable Chevrolet, Tony's Ford, Toyota of Dallas, and Trophy Nissan will be sites for the Texas Tent Event. Over 5,000 new and used vehicles have been shipped in. Get mega selection, mega discounts, and mega savings. Prices start at just $99. $99 and zero down delivers. Hurry, the Texas Tent Event ends Monday night. A sale so big, it could only happen in Texas.